Welcome to the one millionth episode of Talking Terra. My name is Bleez. I'm just kidding with you guys. What is going on, you lunatics? Uh, let's talk about Luna Classic Price because guess what? Uh, price go pump. Uh, you look at the comment section of my videos recently, and what you see is a lot of people who've been saying, or whatever they say, that's the way they talk in my head because they've got an extra chromosome. Now, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button. If you don't like this type of content because I'm always right and the price go up when I say go up and it doesn't go down when it go down, you're dumb and put the like button anyway. I hope I'm translating that appropriately in your native language. All right, guys, let's talk about price action. Let's talk about everything that's going on in the community because there's a lot to unpack. Okay. All right, guys, let's talk big ticket items here. Terraform Lab warns of potential shutdown by products and services by October 30th. Now, really, they're just letting you know that, you know, they've got to wind down. They've got to be done. They've got to do all of the burns that are appropriate. They've got to take care of everything and have it done uh, by October 30th, if third-party discussions fail, the reopening of the shuttle bridge, uh, we already know that that happened. The bankruptcy process, we already know that that happened. Uh, we already know what's going on. So October 30th is the end of the road for Terraform Labs. And there is a final upgrade for Luna. I don't know how that's going to apply. It's not really going to apply to Luna Classic, but if you were a Luna Classic holder like me and you've been holding it for a long, long, long time, then you also have some Luna in your main wallet. Now, I've unstaked all of mine. I'm going to convert it over to Luna Classic. I just have not yet because the vesting process was 21 days and we're not there yet. But as soon as it's done, I'm going to move it over. In fact, what I might do is go wager it at Terra Casino because they're giving away $400,000 from Pragmatic Play. Uh, they've got Merge Up able to be played right now through B Gaming. You've got a 2 million euro giveaway from the World Poker League from September 20th to December 22nd. You've got Evolution with a 1.2 euro, 1.2 million euro giveaway from September 2nd to September 29th. This is the number eight overall burn mechanism. It's only number eight right now because Terraform Labs just burned a whole bunch of them the other day. Before this, it was number seven. Now of all the apps, all the dApps, all of the processes that are here in the Luna Classic community, this one's number seven, now number eight. But uh, I can use my Luna over here. I can use my Luna Classic, uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Whatever token you want to use, you can use over here to go play some risk-based gaming. Perhaps earn yourself some rewards. Remember, uh, they're giving away millions of euros and hundreds of thousands of USD over the next 30 to 60 days. So what are you waiting for? What's broken inside you that you hate money? Do you hate money? You shouldn't. But I digress. Let's talk about the next uh, proposal that just got approved, uh, and that was BLV Labs. Now, if you don't know BLV Labs, uh, they just updated the governance module, or they're, they're proposing to update the governance module. Uh, this would make it a little bit easier, a little more stable, if you will, for when you want to put up a proposal. Currently, it's $5 million lunk, but it does not account for price volatility. So when price fluctuates, the deposit amount may either become too high or too low, which causes problems in maintaining the proposal's value. So um, the stable value is here is going to be 500. So it won't matter how much you're putting in. It's going to be 500 and that would make it uh, a little bit easier. So right now, probably um, 6.5 million would be your deposit in order to do that. And really, it's just to stop bad actors from spamming the network with proposals. Now, uh, that being said, what is happening to the price action? He asks out loud. Well, the rest of the market is dipping. We're down about $22 billion, $23 billion on the day, but Luna Classic up 1.5% up to 88.79. Now, zooming in just a little bit more, you can see in this last hour, we went up to 9,006. 9,006 believes, isn't that exactly where you said we were gonna consolidate? Why, yes, it is, genius. That is exactly what I said. Thank you for noticing. Thank you for noticing. And if you thought that it was going to go down to seven, you thought that it was going to dump or something like that, I'm going to get you one over you, but I hope that it will soon. Or something like that. Again, it's how you speak in my mind when you say stuff like that. That's how, that's how, right here. So anyway, 
Now we're right at that level. Uh, I think it continues on. Remember, I did tell you that I think it's going to wick up into the next range right here, this green line right here. I think we're headed to 96, and then I think we're going to kind of consolidate in this range. Look, the pattern's been similar. The pattern's been the same. Taking a little bit longer to play out, but of course, we're not in October. So as we get to October, then you're going to see all of these things play out, and then you're going to start to see the really big moves. I really do think that we're going to get a, a big, big, big move. U.S. market, by the way, might dump today. I, I'm, I'm getting sick sense here. Uh, I'm getting the feeling that there is a possibility. Now, look, I've been saying that I think the market is going to dump and have kind of that cleansing fire, but I don't know that that really is the case. I mean, this market is really holding up very well considering the 50 basis point uh, rate cut, which by the way is bearish for some reason for these broader risk-based markets, but it's been holding up very well. So could be that I'm completely wrong about this. Uh, it, it, again, this is kind of a, a longer term sort of play out. The, the immediate move is a bullish pump. So if we get a continuation of this, then awesome. If we don't, then you know consider that maybe Bitcoin 58, 50, 59, uh, Luna Classic back down to about 8,000. You know th That will happen potentially. So I'm watching out for it. If it does, I will let you know. So, uh, but anyway, to continue, uh, we're going to move up here, uh, then probably consolidate around nine. It really looks like the range. And the more you zoom out, by the way, the more you see that 9,000 really is kind of the range of consolidation, somewhere at nine, you know, 89 to, to, to 91, 92. So uh, hoping to see that play out. As far as the meme coins, they're picking up business just a little bit. Uh, food almost up to $100. Juris is up to 70. Garuda at 54. Uh, so make sure you check them out. As far as proposals, the only one up right now, Happy Candy Crypto's proposal to burn that 46 million USTC via the migration. Again, look, I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dumping on on Jay because I think that he's he's great. He's for great for the community. However, as you can see right here, we're up 40 uh, percent in volume to 21 million, and we're up three percent in total market cap for the day. <clears throat> but the point to it is, it's already been removed. It, you know, all of this stuff has been removed. So this is, to me, just much ado about nothing. Could it be dumped back into the market? Yes. Is it still important to do? Yes. Does it have any effect on the price? No. What he's talking about right here is having zero effect on price action right now. So um, I, I'm, I'm not as bullish on that short term as he would be. Um, and, and by the way, still a great idea, but it's not going to affect, it's not affecting the price action really. Um, price action is doing what I told you it was going to do before we even talked about these proposals. Duh. So nothing really going on there. Let's pop into uh, Orbit. Welcome Orbit Labs. Orbit Labs is now part of the ecosystem. Uh, exciting news for Terra Classic. We're thrilled to introduce Orca, Orbit Labs uh, to the dedicated blockchain. Did I just say Orca Labs? Oh my God. I hope they're all not, you know, Orca. I, I Dude, carnivore diet is all I'm saying. Uh, a dedicated blockchain development team ready to elevate long to new heights. Uh, this is Trin Keen. This is uh, Tanner Bit Labs, Hoke Ba, and Tropical Dog. So uh, a, a new group of people, Tuan Tran, uh, I, don't, I don't know if they're Vietnamese, Korean. Um, seems like they're excited, though, to be in this community, and they're doing a lot. They, uh, matter of fact, they, they did a Happy Caddy Crypto AMA, or they're doing one uh, at 2 p.m., it looks like, on Thursday, I want to say. So, um, deep dive for the new developer on-chain. Open mic, open space, all welcome. So, set your uh, alarm, set your notices for 2 p.m. Central Standard Time for tomorrow. And go listen to these guys. Check them out. See what it is that they have to say. Uh, they're also engaged with Strathcole. Um, and for the moment, it looks like they're pretty engaged in the community. Are they deep in the community? Not yet, but they're working. So, uh, we'll see what happens there. Also, don't forget, in about six days, we're talking about another Binance burn. Remember, Binance has been burning a little bit more than what they had been before. What is going on over there? Well, we don't really know yet. Binance really hasn't said yet, uh, but we do know that the next big burn is coming up, and that's going to be pretty big for the community. Uh, as far as Lunk Dash goes, we're just looking at 12138. 12138 is the, uh, uh, the, the burn contract over here. And we had uh, Burrito No, Juris Protocol. We got a bunch of yeses over here. We've got three no's. And then we've got Jesus is Lord with a no with veto. Um, why Jesus does not like progress. Um, I don't know. I, 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 you know. I can't tell you what the answer to that is. Interstellar, uh, by the way, big delegator over here, abstained in this vote. Probably because they might be part of the people that made the proposal. Maybe they just sit this one out. But um, no no thirst really for this right now. Now, we'll see how this may, what happens over the next little while. But again, I don't really think that, uh, I think it's important that it burn. But, I, you know, I'm not really... 
Uh, I, I don't really think it's a big that big a deal. 247 million burn over the last seven days uh, per stake bin over here. There's just really you know lower amounts that are being burned right now. A little, up, little uptick, by the way. When you look at it over here, 33 million yesterday, so uh, almost 34. So a little bit of an uptick um, if that were to maintain over the course of seven days. And of course, that would be an average of about 247 million, ironically. So uh, then nothing really since USTC. We're just getting 17,000, 11,000, 37,000, 7,000. So uh, not, not a whole lot of burn going, but look, the stake ratio over here uh, yesterday was at, or two days ago, it was at an all time high again. Uh, now, a couple people have unstaked. I unstaked a long time ago, so it wasn't me. But, um, you know, when you start to zoom out here, then you can see that the total value being locked up into this chain is getting a lot better and a lot better every day. So uh, a lot going on. Also, uh, if you're not already, you got to go to Terraport.Finance right here and you got to start trading these meme coins. Look, um, I I'm not telling you what to do, but I'm telling you that you should be making money. And if you, you should do that, then you should be looking at these pairings over here uh, between some of these tokens and LUNK and use that as an opportunistic moment to increase your holdings on everything. All you have to do is study for a little while, kind of pay attention here and start building your lunk portfolio or just start buying some meme coins. Because again, I told you guys before when I got into these meme coins that I put uh, $50 into each one of them. The Boys is now 134, Food is now 100, Juris is now 72, uh, Garuda X is now 55. Now, Frog down to 45, so it's down just a little bit. Lunk Pepe was 25, and it's down to 8. So some of them down just a little bit. And then, of course, my Terra over here, uh, that's only 500, but it's 4... Um, blah, 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 blah. what do I have here? I have 5,500. So I have about $55 worth. I kept a little bit over here. You can see when I set this stake over here at 5,026. So 5,500 I got for about 50 bucks. Uh, it's now worth 55, $56. So, uh, and I've got 143 left to claim. So, uh, maybe 57. So I'm uh, doing pretty well. Now, let's talk Juris Protocol here real quick because you guys know that the, the, the meat, the, what ran Luna Classic back in the old days, that was the Anchor Protocol because it was a lender. And look, it was not sustainable at the level that it was. It was not sustainable no matter how you looked at it. But uh, what it was was a lender. It would allow you to do a lot of things with it. Now, guess what? Juris Protocol, now on GitHub, they've got their Juris Protocol documents out. Call them your white papers, if you will. Uh, they want to revitalize the system by increasing on-chain activity and visibility, develop practical uses for LUNK and serve as a model uh, and learning resource. Uh, and they want to promote USTC stablecoins, build connections, revive key partnerships, uh, promotion and education. Now, the team, um, LLL69, FRAG, Trader Rocco, uh, the team members are Gokupala, K Rocks, Axion Sempra, Redline Drifter, uh, Danny, Duncan, Chugaboom, York. I got it. I'm gonna have to apologize to Redline Drifter because I talked a lot of shit about that uh, previous proposal back at the beginning of this year about uh, that, that repeg that never really happened after they put sixty thousand dollars into it. I guess I'm gonna owe him an apology. Uh, and then DJ Trev over here, um, the Juris Goat. Uh, so let's talk about the Juris Token. Uh, Juris will serve as the governance token for the Juris Protocol DAO, empowering holders to participate in decision-making processes and earn rewards. This role ensures that the community has a direct influence on the development and direction of the protocol. Liquidity, a substantial portion of Juris is paired with LUNK in the main Terraport liquidity pool, ensuring robust trading opportunities and market depth. Uh, the token distribution includes allocation for team and marketing and future use, the structured vesting schedule to support long-term stability and growth. Notably, 75% of total supply is allocated to the liquidity pool. 100% of the LP tokens burn to reinforce liquidity and trust. A significant part of the marketing allocation is dedicated to rewarding community through airdrops, enhancing user participation and network growth. Five airdrop lock drops, each representing 1% of the total supply, are planned with a two-year vesting period and a six-month clip. Two-year vesting period and six-month clip. That means that these guys are in it for the long haul. Okay. Buyback and burns. The Juris Protocol employs a strategic buyback and burn mechanism to support Juris token value. A periodic buybacks reduce the circulating supply while burning, uh, while burns permanently remove tokens from the circulation, creating scarcity. Uh, tokenomics are 25% uh, reserve of the total supply, 75% going into the liquidity pool. As we said, team gets 10%, marketing gets 10%, and then 5% is getting airdropped over the next two years with a six-month uh, cliff, uh, or two-year two vesting with a six-month cliff. Um, and then 5% of the total supply are reserved for future use. That's probably for me. They probably just want to give me, they probably just want to make me a millionaire. 
You know what I mean? Probably not. All right, fine. They don't want to. But whatever. Uh, initial liquidity pool is 75%, and then the liquidity pool is going to be burned. And then the pairings are going to be uh, Juris to Lunk, Juris to Terra, Osmo, BNB, BUSD, uh, T, and Solana. Uh -huh. uh, then the validator, uh, the Juris Protocol validator is, is going to be there as well. Uh, there's an IBC token bridge. And then here's the big part. The big part that I'm going to skip to right here is the lending protocol. And that is not updated, but it is coming soon. Now, that's how Terra and Luna back in the old days, That's this is the big one. This is the one that caused the explosive sort of move. Will this cause the same explosive sort of move with Luna Classic? Well, initially, I think the excitement behind it and the possibility of something uh, incredible happening is going to start uh, a really big rally. A, a really big rally, by the way. I, I do want to say I'm talking about losing two zeros-ish or something like that, like a, a big, big rally. Now, and by the way, losing two zeros from where we are right now is about a 12x. So when I say that, I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that it's just going to go exponential. That would be three zeros, all right? So uh, I'm not sure how high it would go, but I think there'll be a lot of people looking at it and say, oh my God, it's happening again. And, you know, they're going to be looking at $100 token price. It's not going to happen, okay? But there is some real opportunity here for you uh, as an investor to get in on something that could be, uh, really, really could be uh, just a fantastic yield earning uh, opportunity for you. Uh, you're going to have to to really kind of uh, check it out, get into it, um, and and it's going to be, it should be really cool. And then finally, one more piece here. Cryptonomy has over 600 digital assets for you to swap, store, and trade. Cryptonomy is doing a giveaway for $1,000 in your fixed staking deposit. You will randomly receive a bonus of between $50 and $5,000 credited in the native token of your deposit. The way that this works is number one, make a deposit or create a launch pool contract. Number two, enjoy your staking benefits. And number three, receive a random bonus directly to your deposit. The higher the stake, the greater the potential for reward. All right, folks, we're going for six months this time, 29.6 APY on this one. We're going to put in 0.2 Bitcoin. Contract has been created. We're going to earn a 29.6% reward. Guys, Cryptonomy at this point should be your main staking platform. If you are interested in high yield rewards from a platform in order to further your crypto adventure, whatever your journey might be, then Cryptonomy.finance is the place for you. And that's because of the dynamic rewards that have been available from the launch pool. The ROIs are phenomenal and they continue to yield new funds. Folks, sign up for Cryptonomy.finance today. Start staking, start earning. Because it's needed and it's coming soon is a wallet. So, uh, and, and you know, I'll be honest with you guys. You know, we need a wallet. We need some clarity in this kind of area. You know, you can use Kepler. You can use Station. But Station, what's going to happen with Station in a couple days? So, you know, there's a lot of questions that we have as a community out here that we're going to have to work our way through. Uh, by the way, if you, uh, if you have... Uh, a station wallet you one thing to remember here is you just need your seed phrase import your seed phrase into kepler and i think you should be fine i'm going to experiment with that today to make sure that that works don't do it yourself uh, unless you you know unless you're crazy like i be um and and we'll, we'll see if it works and if it does cool uh, it's a nice little transfer we'll use kepler until we get the juris wallet um but uh that's it, guys. That's my time. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate each and every one of you. Look, um, I, I'm telling you one more time, this thing is about to go parabolic. It's about to get absolutely crazy and bonkers. When I say that, by the way, understand market conditions. Don't be a day. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to go up, George. I don't think it's going to happen. I think what's going to happen is it's going to go down. If, you feel, if that's who you are, and, and again, that's how you talk in my brain, if that's who you are, Okay, cool. Uh, but October and November, notoriously good months for cryptocurrency. So are we going to pump here? Most likely we're going to pump. We might even get a mini altcoin season. And then December, we're going to cool off a little bit. And then January, it starts. January, it starts. It's every four years and it starts there. So it's going to start again in January. So whatever we get in the next two months, awesome. Uh, we'll have a little cooling off period in December, most likely. Uh, we didn't have a cooling off period in September. We were up 7%. So, um, or so far we're up 7%. So, you know, anything could happen. 
Anything can happen. But this is the start of that bull run. This is the start of that moment where money is going to start flooding this market. All of this is happening at perfect timing. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And have a little bit of faith because it's about to get crazy, az weird up in this piece. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.